Hello, my name is Walter Bacon and I work for the International Research Institute for Climate and Society, part of the Earth Institute at Columbia University. I'm here to tell you what is the situation that I'm seeing in Uruguay. I work since I was hired by Columbia. I have been working part of my time in, a, in our office in New York and part of a time in an office that we have in Montevideo, Uruguay. I arrived the country now on April the 13th, when there was a day when the country started taking some measures for uh, stopping, for fighting the coronavirus crisis. So in this very short video, uh, I will try to tell you what is going on from the standpoint of the government, what are the government actions and what are the people's actions. The government has not, you know, has decided to not declare an official quarantine. I think, you know, this is a developing country. It's not a poor country. It's what I would say a middle-class country, but it's a developing country. And so they are trying to balance the, health, the public health situation, the public health threat with the economic threat. So what will happen after the coronavirus crisis is over? And so they decided to not declare a quarantine and they have very strong campaigns to educate people, to explain why it's so important to stay at home, to avoid social contact, to, to they closed, of course, they closed the primary schools, they closed the high schools. They took a lot of uh, decisions, they made a lot of decisions to avoid, to reduce the social contact, but they didn't declare an official quarantine, like they did in Argentina or, of course, in Spain and Italy. And that's what the government has been doing. The other thing that they have been doing is every day, every evening, they have a very thorough report, short but clear and thorough report of what is going on, what are the situation in the public health system, how many people are giving positive, testing positive, how many people are in the, in the intensive care units. So far, that situation is okay, it's under control. The public health system is working well. What are people doing? People are responding, I would say, quite well. I was gladly surprised to see that people are really staying at home. A lot, most of the people are staying at home. They go out for the minimum required you know, needs. They go to the supermarkets to get some food, but a lot of the delivery, even from the supermarkets, a lot of the delivery systems are working very actively. Uh, so I would say in general, the people are, are paying attention, are reacting in the right way. Of course, this crisis typically can bring up out the very best and the very bad worst of societies. And so at the same time that I'm telling you this, there's also companies that have been trying to sell alcohol in jail and face masks and all these uh, things that you need in this type of crisis. They, can, they have been trying to sell that at very expensive prices. But because this is a democracy, you know, you cannot forbid that. But what the government has been doing, and I think it's very smart, is every day they expose those companies. They, they publish a list with the prices of these uh, articles, and, and you can see which are the, the companies that are trying to make uh, take advantage of a crisis like this. And the image for that company is not good, of course. On the other hand, you have a lot of activities of the common people organizing uh, places to prepare food for the most vulnerable sectors of the society. Uh, there's a lot of young people that are trying to organize themselves and, and do the shopping for the older people. For example, when you live in a building, uh, there's a very nice thing that is happening that every night at 9 p.m., People go out to the balconies in the, if they live in, in buildings, uh, and, and they, they have like a two or three minutes applauding the, the public health system, which is very nice. 
There's a lot of restaurants uh, organizing also themselves to ensure that the people in the public health systems get good food every day. So there's, in general, we say the country is, is doing all right. The government has decided to not declare an official quarantine and so far it's working quite well. The people are reacting well, but as you imagine, these situations are extremely fluid. And so if we talk again in a week, I may be telling you something very different. So far, this is the situation in Montevideo.